This is a Scalper 77C. It uh, comes with two screening decks, an upper deck and a lower deck. The upper deck is in this one is currently has two and a half by two and a half inch square uh, woven screen. And the lower screen on this one is a harp screen, which is uh, no cross wires at all, and it's just straight uh, wires on it, with a spacing somewhere close to a three-eighths of an inch on this particular one. The person that's going to use this one is uh, intention of using it for very fine materials, um, obviously sizing it to three-eighths of an inch. It can be used either for stone or for uh, soils, dirts. The material gets dropped in the top and this whole upper section revolves in a shaking motion to so shake the material that's oversized off the top which ends up on the ground here. And then the, the smaller stuff that fits through the upper screen will land on the lower screen and take it to the fine and finished position which will go out on the conveyor. The overs of that will also land on the ground here which you will move away with your loader. This has the capacity of having a wheel loader loaded up to a two yard machine. Um, the width of the top is a 7 foot screen, that's what the 777 stands for, 7 foot by 7 foot screening area. The total width is probably uh, closer to 9 foot for your bucket width to be able to fill in with the tapered sides uh, to allow the material to float down into the screening area. In the front, this is, uh, you have the ability to pull this with either a tandem axle dump truck, which it has a hitch that comes around for a pendle hook or it can be pulled by a semi-tractor, both of which are required to have air brakes as this is set up with an air brake axle for, for stopping and it has the tail lights and everything for transport on the road. This is the hitch assembly. They would flip around and get bolted in underneath the, the fifth wheel for the semi-tractor if you choose to use a, a tandem axle dump truck or something and pull it with a pendle hitch. This has a two and a half inch lunette eye on it and once it's flipped around it would be bolted and it would be sitting out in front here. Your air brake controls, your electric trailer controls, and this is actually your fifth wheel pin is right below here for pulling it with a semi-tractor and then this hitch would be out of the way. Underneath this panel is your actual controls that run the machine. You have your screening control which turns the screening machine on for vibration. This is what uh, control for your axle in the back for your transport. You can raise the axle to set it on the ground which is in the position it's in right now. This next one is to turn on your conveyor, or uh, uh, I'm sorry, to uh, set your conveyor uh, position to unfold it into the position for operation. Then on this side, there's two more controls. This is your axle position uh, to raise it and lower it. And th this one here is to turn your conveyor on. Back here, I had said this was for the land axle, but this is actually for the uh, hitch in the front to raise and lower the hitch to get it onto your truck. Under this panel here, that's actually the starting, your ignition switch to start the machine, your tachometer, an hour meter, and your oil pressure and water temperature gauges to keep an eye on the engine. The engine uh, service is through here to check your oil, your antifreeze. Um, this is powered by a 48 horsepower Yanmar diesel engine. Everyone that's used it says it just sips fuel, so it runs a long time on a tank of fuel. Under these two panels, there isn't too much behind here except for your ability to do service or uh, tension your uh, lower screens, take the screens out or change them or, or check the tension on them. These couplers inside of here are used to change the rotation of the upper hopper, either into forward rotation going around this way or reverse rotation so it throws the material back up on top and gives it a longer hang time. It's done easily just by uncoupling those couplers and switching the hoses around and coupling them back on, determining on which way works best for your application. After the material is processed through this uh, shaker box here, the material will drop onto the conveyor, which is a three-foot conveyor, and will exit off the end. This is a fixed height conveyor. This axle here is hydraulically operated, which I was showing in the front with the control levers, which will go down and raise this end of the box in the air for transport, and it has a couple of lock pins that go in to hold it in place once it is in that transportation position. If you need a higher elevation, uh, as long as you have a loader tall enough to feed it, you can raise this up and put timbers or something underneath the base of this machine to get a higher loading height if that's what you're trying to achieve. We just recently changed these screens out from a three-quarter by four screen to this uh, harp screen. The person that's using this wants to have material that's three-eighths or less in size. He's going to be running stone through it. 
This is also stainless steel, so it helps with uh, wear prevention, so the screen will last longer. They're replaced in pairs, a right and a left, um, and sized accordingly. You have to make sure when you put them in that you have equal clearance on the edges once it's installed. But uh, those, are, those are consumables, and that's something you determine what kind of finished product you want to have uh, to determine what size screen you want to have in the machine.